this was a failure right here. Uh, I think the wood was a little bit too rotted and I was just having a lot of trouble. So let's go ahead and recast this thing and see if we can, see if we can get a small bowl out of it. All right, I just had to go back and watch the video. And I used uh, Perlex Apple Green, but I had put a blue base on it. So I hope this Apple Green works to blend in. All right, that's a lot greener than I wanted it to be. So, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. I know it's probably more than I needed. All right, we're going to take this and put it in the vacuum and hopefully it'll suck it all into that wood and that, that crappy area. <laughs> we don't know. I don't know. We will see together. All right, we'll come back after this is done and we're going to put in the pressure pot after this and hopefully, hopefully it'll get up in there. All right, it's out of the vacuum and the pressure pot. I don't know. Let's find out. Well, it might be. Only one way to find out, and that's to, <laughs> to, to turn it. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, we're going to use the same screw holes. This resin it is extremely hard. It just keeps skipping off of here. Um, and this other resin doesn't have, doesn't look anything like it. <laughs> All right, let's keep turning this. I got an idea of the, if, it, if it'll turn and the, the wood's hard enough. So I think what this is, is there's a lot of dirt in this wood. Uh, not much I can do about it now. There might even be a rock in there because it's dulling the crap out of my tools. All right, I'm taking some thin CA glue and I'm just trying to get it in here. This stuff's just tearing out. It's extremely punky. But I'm still going to keep going with this. I'm going to have to let this sit for a while.
All right, I'm gonna tilt this up and put some more resin in it. Now this is pretty cool. Watch this. It keeps seeping down into the this. <laughs> it's a lot of resin. I've already done about four of these cups right here full of that stuff. And it's sinking in. It's still sinking in. Yep, that didn't work. All right, so I put it back up on there because when that thing popped off of here, it wouldn't go back on right. So now it wobbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix the bottom. I've already redone the part in here. And even though it wobbles, we're going to flip it around. And then we'll just redo the outside when we do the insides. So All right, I took it off because I'm going to show you something. Look at this thing. This wood is just holes in it, all in there. I'm kind of worried about this. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this back up with resin, put it in the pressure pot and see if I can get it all in those, all in that wood and those every, uh, I don't know. We're going to use that green apple again. Cause I liked how it contrasted. Normally, I would not fix this, but I'm determined to fix this one right here. So, and if you, uh, if you don't like my pouring music, I'd go ahead and mute it right now. All right, we'll go put it in here for a little bit, pour some more resin, and just keep going. And then we'll put it in the pressure pot. All right, it cracked in the middle, but I don't care about that as long as it got into the wood. So let's get this back on the lathe and start turning it. So I posted this the other day and I asked you guys for suggestion for names. And I was going over the names and I thought I had settled on one. And then you, you probably noticed by the title of this video, I went with Poisonous Apple. I've got an idea.
I don't know what the heck happened, but that's a crack. And this goes all the way into the resin. I'm going to have to patch that up. So I guess we're going to cast one more time. Well, I say one more. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off. We're going to recast this. We'll have to redo the backside and everything again. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm not going to make you watch it. I'm going to go do this again, and I'll come back again tomorrow and see if I can do anything. It's got a good crack. It was already cracked. 
it slammed into my face shield. You can see right there, I got a little, that's where it hit, right there and right there. You can see over here too. And it dented it. Woo, that's why you use face shields. extreme challenge this bowl really gave me a run for my money I'm extremely happy with that it came out and I thought since I called it the poisonous apple I'd do a little bit of apple wood here from a tree that was downed in my yard uh, years back I've used it before so I put it on there and I think it that came out pretty good <laughs> Uh, we did use the uh, wrong color of green, but I think that accents it. It's got the dark greens, the light greens, and then the fluorescent green. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, you can tell me I'm being vain or whatever, but I'm, I'm just in love with this piece. All right, well, tell me what you think about this, this, this save, okay? This is, this is the fix of a lifetime for me. I don't think any of those up there will be this hard. It gives me hope. And I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, one right there, that is the blue one that was rotted that I never finished and everybody wants me to finish it. And I think I can do that now because I got this one. This one should not have been able to get done. That, that, that pine was rotted. I showed you at the beginning. Uh, it's just... Uh, all right, enough, enough of me gushing over this bowl. Uh, <laughs> but I, am, I, I haven't had a good, good, good bowl in a while, if you ask me. Uh, a good save, a good, good one that I'm, I'm proud of. Uh, this one is it. I'm proud of this one. All right, well, I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate you heading on down, leaving a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this. 
hitting that thumbs up button and sharing the video. And if you're not already subscribed, please, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, so until next video, stay cool. This has been the most challenging thing I've ever fixed, and it's done.